Hey folks, been a while, but I've been busy. I've been researching the GoPro Hero Max 2. Now, for those of you who don't know, there was an image leaked within the past few weeks of what the GoPro Hero Max 2 looks like. Only, I think it's complete bull. Absolute 100% bull. Now, another person happens to think this is real, and that is Get Hypoxic. If you haven't heard of Get Hypoxic before, this is a website that basically specializes in GoPro Hero teardowns, telling you exactly what hardware is inside, and you know, the changes from model to model. They think the leak is real. I say it's fake. So in this video, we're going head to head with Get Hypoxic. We're going to look at the reasons I think this image is fake. It is not the GoPro Hero Max 2. And you know what? We're going to do something special here. We're going to do a giveaway and we're going to see if Get Hypoxic can put their money where their mouth is because this is the grudge match to end all grudges. So sit back, relax and enjoy. This is Demon View. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate you tuning in. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at the GoPro Hero Max 2 image that was released, why I think it's a fake, and why Get Hypoxic might have suffered from a little oxygen deprivation when he thinks that the picture is actually real. So in case you're wondering, this is what the picture actually looked like. Yep, this here is supposed to be the GoPro Hero Max 2. Now I had a few issues with that, and we're gonna kind of look at why I think this is a fake image, um, you know, if Get Epoxic wants to actually do his own video about why he thinks it's real, I'll let him do that. But uh, I'm going to basically explain why I think this is fake. I'm going to show you um, the GoPro Hero Max and the GoPro Hero Max Fusion to kind of show you what the design of GoPros are really like and why this image could be so fake. So with that, let's get on with the video. So folks, when GoPro made a 360 degree camera, they kind of made it with a certain design is in kind of mind. Um, as you can see, it's got the uh, two lenses on it, but if you look, these lenses have been offset. One is actually over here, while the second one is offset over here. And this has been the design with the GoPro 360 cameras for quite some time. Even the Max is the same thing. It's got one lens here and another lens here. Now, GoPro have a very particular way of stitching their images, and I think this is like one of their patented ways of doing things. But if we take a look at the uh, leaked image of the Max 2. Okay, so let's look at what I consider some of the issues with this image that was released that claims to be the uh, Hero Max 2, and I just don't think it is. First of all, we have this, and this is like the centered uh, camera lens. Okay, yep, sure, people say that will get rid of an idea issue and uh, you'd get better stitching, but I don't think so. I think GoPro actually have pretty good stitching, especially when compared to other 360 cameras. And like I said, with previous models, they've always had the offset design. I think that's something that's patented. I think how they stitch from that is patented. And I really can't see them suddenly, you know, doing away with all that just to change to a center kind of lens design. Then we have these. Now you may think to yourself, okay, these are heat fins. This is for heat dissipation. So, you know, these bits of metal stand out to cool it down. But look at this, this whole thing here. This looks exactly like GoPro's previous models. It's a camera, it's covered with like a soft kind of silicon cover for impact absorption. You know, if there's insects or bits of stone or grip flying, they've always had this soft rubber coating. What's the problem? Well, then they can't possibly be heat fins because Rubber is like a heat insulator. Think about it, if you're barbecuing or something or picking up hot dishes, usually those gloves that you have to protect you from burning yourself are made from silicon rubber. I mean, to have heat fins made out of something that's not gonna conduct heat makes absolutely zero sense whatsoever. Sorry, it just doesn't. And then if we say, okay, what is this large rectangle here? Well, you know, it's, it's not a screen because again, it's covered by these fins. You wouldn't be able to press anything on the screen if it's covered by fins, so it can't be a touch screen. What if it's a large metal heat sink? Well, okay, yep, that could be a heat sink to let the heat out, only they've covered it with soft silicon rubber. And how are you gonna attach that to the basic metal there? I mean, that's just gonna end up peeling off, breaking, and it makes no sense. Again, you'd be covering a heat sink with something which doesn't transfer heat. Doesn't make sense to me. Then we look at the leaker. They have basically included this GoPro logo but it doesn't deform with the actual fins that they've put on this photograph. If that logo was there, you'd expect it to be stamped and maybe raised and depressed where these you know, fins are. Should be depressed here, raised here, depressed. 
but it's completely flat and solid. I think this is a fake logo that's been just put on this camera. And here's another big cincher. When we're talking about this large rectangle here, what could it possibly be? Well, if you've looked at police body cameras, you know, basically they do have a center lens mounted design and what do they have under it? A big stop start button that people can press when they're wearing armored glove fingers like the police usually have. And you know, even leather gloves, whatever, that looks like a giant start stop button to me with these fins faked on over it. I think this is actually a picture of a police body camera, some unknown forgotten model. And they've just, you know, slapped a few bits on it and put a GoPro logo on it. But here's the main thing, and here's why I believe this image is totally fake, and that is the source, which was Quadro News. Now, if you don't remember, Quadro News leaked a picture of the Hero 12 last year with a one inch sensor. What's the problem with that? Well, obviously the Hero 12 did not have a one inch sensor. The photograph itself was actually proven to be fake because it was actually lying on top of promotion materials for, I think it was GoPro Hero 6 at the time, which why would GoPro recycle promotional materials for a Hero 12? And the thing is, Quadro News is a DJI site. The person who leaked the news constantly posts nothing but like DJI news, DJI specs, video footage of leaked DJI uh, drones in flight and DJI cameras. It's, it's a DJI site. It's a DJI media account. The person is on DJI media's paycheck. In my opinion, have to put that in for legal uh, circumstances. But the thing is last year when the leak came out with the GoPro Hero 12 with a one inch sensor. I also think that was a bit of corporate sabotage. Tell everybody this is going to have a one inch sensor, put the fake picture out there. And that way, when the GoPro Hero 12 is released and it doesn't have a one inch sensor, which it didn't, everybody was really disappointed and really angry with GoPro saying they weren't going to buy the camera. And it's like, well, corporate sabotage done. And on top of this, if you look at how the news was released with the GoPro Hero 12, Basically, Quadro News quoted another site that was quoting Quadro News saying like, congratulations on this release or this getting this leaked information out there. Only the site he quoted, um, it was defunct. It hadn't been used since about 2019. And suddenly in 2023, they're posting congratulations like they go disappear for four years. I don't think so. I just don't think so at all. This is basically fake news. It's a fake release. It's a fake picture that is not a GoPro Hero Max 2. Now, this brings us back to um, Get Hypoxic. Now, Get Hypoxic are one of the best sites out there. I really do like their teardowns, good stuff. However, I don't know if there may be, they may actually be a beta tester for GoPro. And uh, one of the things, if you're a beta tester, if you are testing the product, you don't really say what is and isn't fake. You want to maybe throw some people off the scent or whatever. So, you know, for him to say, yeah, I think this is real. I, I don't think it is. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to let get hypoxic defend themselves on that one. Maybe do a video of why they think it's real, but I see enough in that picture to actually say that I think this is a fake photo. Okay. I don't think that's the design. Now, I'm willing to put my money where my mouth is. I basically challenged Get Hypoxic and told them that, uh, you know, if this is a fake picture and I'm right, Get Hypoxic has to display one of my Demon View stickers on the back of their car for an entire month. And hey, if I'm wrong, Get Hypoxic can send me one of their stickers and I'll display it on my Demon View mobile for a month. I basically challenged Get Hypoxic to put their money where their mouth is and I was met with complete silence until I wasn't. Yep, he got back to me and said, I will take that bet. So yeah, I think that's a good natured bet between uh, creators and I look forward to winning this bet easily. Now, here's the thing. I want to know what you think. I want to know whether you, the viewer, think that this is a real picture. I'm pointing the wrong direction. If this is a real picture. Yeah, if this is a real picture, you make sure you let me know because I want to know you know, who's right, who's wrong. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a giveaway competition. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do two giveaways in this one. A, anyone who enters uh, for the competition, leave a comment down below on whether you think it's a real picture or not of the GoPro Max 2. Leave a comment down below. I'm going to pick somebody at random to be a winner. So it doesn't matter whether you're right or wrong. One person is going to be picked out of that. And then we'll have a winner for whoever's right. They'll be picked as well. So two giveaways, two winners. They're going to get a little demon view bag of goodies and, you know, hopefully you're going to have some fun with that. 
So thank you to get Hypoxic. I really appreciate them taking the bet. Um, no thank you to Quadro News for leaking a fake picture. I'm seriously, I think it's fake. But yeah, I want to know what you think. So leave it down below whether or not this is a fake picture. I want to hear what you have to think. So folks, until next time, I appreciate you watching and cheerio. So people have asked me, why do I like making these videos? The fact is, I like to help you guys troubleshoot issues with your cameras. I love doing product reviews and letting you know what's a good product to buy, what's a product that maybe you should be avoiding. Now, all of these videos take time and they do take money. Nothing in life is free, unfortunately. So if you want to help out with the video production costs, you can use the buy me a coffee link down below. You can use this as an excuse just to say hello or thanks and just buy me a coffee to keep me caffeinated and keep me awake. The more awake I am, the better the jokes are with my videos. Well, maybe. But anyway, if you want to say thanks, if you want to help out video productions cost, buy me a coffee and I really do appreciate it. So thanks folks. Really, really glad that you're watching.